Welcome to PE class! To begin with, let us have a prayer. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for how you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Please help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Physical Education, Grade 7, Quarter 1, Module 3. Introduction to Individual Sports, Running and Swimming. Here are the most essential learning competencies for this lesson. Undertake physical activity and physical fitness assessments. Describe the nature and background of the sport. Execute the skills involved in sport. And monitor periodically one's progress towards fitness goals. Here are the topics to be discussed in the video lesson. Introduction to running. The skills in running. Introduction to swimming. Skills in swimming. Let us have the background of athletics. Track and field athletics, commonly known as athletics or track and field, is a collection of sport events that involve running, throwing, and jumping. The name athletics is derived from the Greek word atlos, meaning contest. Going from back to the ancient Greeks, Athletics was the only competition being held in the first Olympic Games which took place in Athens in 776 BC. At the time, the single athletic event was known as the Stain, a foot race which covered the length of the Athenian Olympic Stadium. In 1896, the first modern Olympic Games were staged. Although initially of limited appeal, the Olympics captured the imagination of athletes and grew steadily, making track and field an international sport for the first time. In 1913, the International Amateur Athletic Federation was formed by the representatives from 16 countries. The IAAF was charged with establishing standard rules for the sport, approving world records, and ensuring that the amateur code was adhered to. It continues to carry out these duties today. Truck events. Truck events often involve a field or a running track of varying measurements. These events are typically held in a 400 meter track. These include sprints, middle distance events, long distance events, hurdles, relays, road running, and race walking. Short distance or sprints. A sprint is a short running race. In a track and field competition, there are generally three different sprint distances such as 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, and 400 meter dash. Middle distance. The middle distance races are 800 meters, 1,500 meters, and 3,000 meters. These races require different skills and tactics to win. They rely more on endurance and pacing than just pure speed. Also, the runners do not stay in a single lane for the entire race. They start out in staggered lanes to make the distance the same for each runner. The race soon becomes open with no lanes and the runners must pass around each other to gain the lead. Long Distance There are three main long distance races such as 3,000 meters, 5,000 meters, and 10,000 meters races. These races are similar to the middle distance races, but the emphasis is even more on correct pacing and endurance. 
hurdles. A hurdles race is a track and field event with obstacles placed at intervals along the track. The runners must jump over the hurdles as they run to the finish line. The hurdles races are the 100 meter and 400 meter for women and 110 meter and 400 meter for men. Timing, footwork, and technique are the keys in winning hurdle events. Furthermore, the runners still need to be fast while jumping over the hurdles in stride without much slowing down to win the race. Relays Relay races are where teams of runners compete against each other. They are four, uh, there are four runners and four legs or stages to the race. The first runner starts with a baton and runs the first leg handing off to the second runner. The, uh, the handoff must typically take place within a given area of the track. The second then hands off to the third and the third to the fourth. The fourth runner runs to the final in an anchor leg to the finish line. Common relay races are the 4x100 meter dash and the 4x400 meter dash. Facilities and equipment used in athletics. First and foremost is the track facility or track oval. The equipment, we have the baton, hurdles, starting blacks, starting gun, and spike shoes. To be able to participate and perform well during track and field events, it requires the athletes and runners to master their running skills. Mastering these skills will develop the use of essential muscles, use of optimum force, and relax the muscles that will not be involved in your movements during the race. The running skills. Let us have first the body position. The head, trunk, and pelvis should be positioned along a vertical line, which is perpendicular to the ground. This helps ensure that the pelvis is in the most efficient position. It should be obvious that the erect position better enables you to lift your knees, which in turn increases stride length. The head should be up, with eyes focused 20 to 30 yards ahead. Runners who look at the ground tend to have short and choppy stride. This should be avoided by the runners. Arm and shoulder carriage. It is necessary to have arm and shoulder movements during running so that the torque produced by the driving of the legs is more easily absorbed. The shoulder must move in coordination with the arms. It is advisable that the hands, arms, and shoulder should be relaxed as possible. For the tense muscle does not only require a greater oxygen consumption, but also prone to cramps. Most runners cut the hands and maintain a light pressure between the thumb and fist finger on each hand. This tends to be or to prevent the arms and shoulders from tensing. The position of the arms should probably approach a right angle during the forward movement, but the exact position is not critical. However, you must not carry your arms excessively high for this can be very fatiguing. During the forward swing, your arm should not cross the imaginary midline which divides the body. Runners who do this cross body or cross body action cause the trunk to rotate unnecessarily. Action of the legs. The leg action has two parts. 
these are number one, the recovery phase, and number two, the driving phase. In the recovery phase, the rear foot leaves the ground and in driving place or phase, the lead foot touches the ground. Running speed is the combination of the stride length and frequency of the stride. The stride length and body lean will increase as one increases the speed. Foot action. A male runner has a landing touch with a heel ball action, which is where the heel hits the ground first. The weight is then transferred to the ball of the foot in a rocking chair fashion. Among female runners, the heel ball and ball heel ball is about the same. In the ball heel ball, the runner initially settles on the ball of the foot, then momentarily transfers the body's weight to the heel, and then rolls forward again to the ball of the driving pace. The heel ball landing top is suited to be more efficient over long distances because there is less strain put on the muscles of the calf. Consider the following tips for sprint. A. Master the sprint start. B. Starting a sprint race is all about explosion of speed and power. C. You, you do need to keep it under control. D. Being relaxed helps your body run efficiently and quickly at any distance. Letter E. Try to breathe gently and await the starter's commands. On your mark, letter A. Crouch on one knee and form a high bridge with your fingers just behind the line. B. Your hand should be placed slightly wider than your shoulder width. C. If you feel cramped, you are probably positioned too close to the start line. Letter D, don't get distracted by anything or anybody. And letter E, keeping your eyes focused on the ground ahead of, your, of you will help you your balance, focus, and relaxation. Set. Letter A, raise your hips to a level just above your shoulders. Letter B. Your head should not be dropped towards the ground, but don't crick your neck by trying to look up the track. Letter C. Lean your body as far, as, as far forward as you can and aim to begin running without stumbling. Letter D. Wait for that starting signal. Go! When you when the gun goes off, breathe out, uh, breathe out hard, and pump those arms and legs. Try not to travel too far with each try to start with. Letter C: Thrust your elbows elbows as high as possible with each backward swing, and drive your legs with a high knee action. Letter D keeping your body low in your opening strikes will uh, trust you for what introduction to swimming swimming is an individual or a team racing sport that requires the use of one's in entire body to move through the water the sport takes place in pools or open water such as sea or lake. Competitive swimming is one of the most popular Olympic sports with varied distance events in butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle or front row. History of swimming During the prehistoric times, evidence of recreational swimming was found with the earliest evidence dating to Stone Age paintings 
from around 10,000 years ago. During 2000 BC, some of the earliest references to swimming, including the Iliad, the Odyssey, the Bible, Bayou the Quran, and others. 1538 Nicolaus Winman, a Swiss-German professor of languages, wrote the earliest known complete book about swimming. Colin Bitts said the Arte Natendi Dialogos et Festivus et Ioncondus Lecto The Swimmer or a Dialogue on the Art of Swimming and joyful and pleasant to read. 1830, swimming emerged as competitive regional activity in England. 1828, the first indoor swimming pool, the St. George Baths, was opened to the public. 1837, the National Swimming Society was holding regular swimming competitions in six artificial swimming pools built around London. The recreational activity grew in popularity. In 1844, two Native American participants at a swimming competition in London introduced the front crawl to a European audience namely Sir John Arthur Trojan, who picked up the handover stroke from some South American natives and successfully uh, debuted the new stroke in 1873. His stroke is still regarded as the most powerful to use today. The next one is Captain Matthew Webb was the first man to swim in, in English Channel between England and France in 1875 using the breaststroke technique, of course. And then, 1880, the first national governing body, the Amateur Swimming Association, was formed. There were already over 300 regional clubs in operation across the country. 1889, the first European amateur swimming competitions were in Vienna, were held in Vienna. And then, 1892, the world's first women's swimming championship was held in Scotland. In 1896, men's swimming became part of the first modern Olympic Games in Athens. 1902, the Australian Richmond Cavill introduced freestyle to the Western world. 1808, the World Swimming Association or the Federación Internacional de Natación or FINA was formed. 1912, women's swimming was introduced into the Olympics. 1920-22 or 1922, Women's Olympiad was the first international swim meet for women outside the Olympics. 1930, Butterfly was developed and was at first a variant of breaststroke until it was accepted as a separate style in 1952. Let us now proceed with a or to the history of swimming in the Philippines. In 1900s, Americans introduced swimming as a sport to the Philippines. In 1912, several local swimmers had emerged from different parts of the country who competed against each other in championships organized by the Americans. In 1928, the greatest achievement of the Filipino in the sport. 1. Teofilo E. El Difonso, nicknamed to the Ilocano Shark, who won the Philippines 
who won the Philippines' first Olympic medal by winning bronze in the 200-meter breaststroke event at the 1928 Olympics in Amsterdam, Netherlands. He repeated this feat in 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles, California, when uh, he won his second bronze medal, becoming the first Filipino to win multiple medals in the Olympics. 1951. The first Asian Games was held in New Delhi, India. And Artemio Salamat and Jacinto Kaiko won gold medals for the 200-meter and 100-meter breaststroke events, respectively. In 1985, Eric Buhayen won a gold in the 400-meter individual medley at Southeast Asian Games held in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, let's proceed to the equipment and swimming. So the following are the basic pieces of equipment used in swimming. We have goggles, kickboard, swim cup, starting gun, swimsuit, touch pad, and swimming trunks. There are four swimming strokes. Number one is front row. It is popularly known as freestyle. It is also considered as the fastest and most efficient swimming technique. The body must be kept horizontal, stretched, and streamlined. It involves alternating over arm strokes and the flutter kick, the up and down movement of the legs. The head remains in the water, the face alternating from side to side. Butterfly number two. It is a powerful and graceful technique. It is also the most difficult and exhausting stroke. Hands enter the water and shoulder width apart. Legs move in fishtail or dolphin kick, which the legs move up and down together with the knees bent on the upward swing. Arms move up and downward Shoulder rotate, bringing arms around. Number three, breaststroke. It is the slowest of the four official styles in competitive swimming, which requires comparable endurance and strength to other strokes. The strokes begin with the body in a stretched out horizontal position, with the face in the water. Upper body lifts as the arms pull and the head lifts to breathe. Frog kick takes place under the water and begins with the legs in an extended position with feet together. Frog kick is a leg movement where the knees primarily turn outward and the legs alternately separated and closed. And number four. Backstroke. It has the advantage of easy breathing, but has the disadvantage of swimmers not being able to see where they are going. This is the only competition swimming style that has a different start. Push of the ball on your back in a streamlined position. The alternating kick originates from the hip and remains within the body width. Toes are pointed with ankles relaxed and the knees bend slightly with each kick. The leg kick and arm actions should be controlled and steady while maintaining a fixed head position. Thank you for watching. Success starts within yourself. Brace yourself and accept the academic challenges. God bless!